Why did you pick it? Is it underrated? Is it underseen? Do you just want to talk about it? Um, a bit of both, really. I'm going to... I originally said it was underrated, but um, that's simply because I'm a mum and my middle child is kind of 13. So he's kind of watching... I'm making him watch, correction, I'm making him watch all my horror classics. So I'm like, not as bad as like ones that are made now. Yeah. Um, we watched it. He was just not moved, not scared. Thought it was a complete, <laughs> complete waste of time. He's like, it looks so fake. Da, la, la. So, Kids yeah, my, it's under, <laughs> right? The total disrespect. I'm like, is it a classic, <laughs> number one? respect the history of horror movies but yeah no it's underrated because yeah he just completely dissed it and I'm like absolutely not so I kind of wanted to talk about it to bring back that magic and make sure people listen and know that we need to put some respect on Freddy Krueger's name and Nightmare on Elm Street yeah, so That's maybe it's point. not quite grabbing sort of modern audiences yeah. as much. Yeah. And therefore, yeah. you could also argue then that it's a bit underseen as well. And maybe as time goes on, fewer and fewer people are actually going to seek it out and actually going to watch yes. it. I bet exactly. it's one. Of, I think it's one of those films, isn't it, where um, I think everyone or lots of people know about it. But like, have mm. you been and watched it? Or do you just know who Freddy Krueger is? Yeah, it's like when teenagers wear band t-shirts. You're like, do you even know who Nirvana is? Yeah. Like, you're wearing a Freddy Krueger t-shirt. Do you even know who he is? Oh. One of those things. 